Hi friends, this is Haya Grossberg and I'd like to share with you some promise that psychiatry might have something to offer us as humanity. Before you, <laughs> before you turn off this video, just hear me out. Psychiatry has done um, what, the West, the, what the rest of Western medicine does, but to a much more extreme degree. So what Western medicine does is it separates our body experiences, our physical symptoms, from our paths as human beings in the world, from our relationships, from the socio-political, economic context. Western medicine basically separates things out. It says, you know, here you have a physical symptom, you know, you're nauseous, you have a headache, you're, you broke your leg, whatever, and then we have the rest of your life. So we need to eradicate your physical symptoms so that you can get on with the rest of your life, so that you can be with your friends and family, so that you can go to work, um, you know, do everything you need to do in order to continue on the same way that you have been continuing on. What Western medicine misses is that when we have an illness, an injury, or another physical symptom, there's an opportunity. So in this opportunity, um, there's all kinds of possibilities for transformation, for shifting our relationships, for shifting our culture, and for actually evolving as a species, evolving humanity. We miss a lot of these opportunities when we seek to only eradicate symptoms and when we um, go through the Western medical process, which is you go to a doctor, they tell you what's wrong with you, they tell you what to take, they say take this pill or do this procedure, then you'll be better, then you can move on with your life. This model doesn't um, allow the doctor or the community to get to know on a deeper level what's going on with you, why might this illness have come to you at this time. Illness in itself used to be considered a spiritual gift, a visiting from beyond, an opportunity to go through a radical transformation in your life. Now, in our current model, we don't afford people that opportunity. Psychiatry has done this to a much more extreme degree because not only are physical experiences and symptoms being treated this way, but our everyday emotions, um, our sadness, our heartbreak, our grief, our excitement, our passion, our creativity, our spiritual emergence, all these things can now fall into an illness category, which will then be treated the same way. Go to a doctor, tell them what you're experiencing, have them prescribe something for you, generally a pill um, or a procedure like electroshock. Go through that procedure, then supposedly move on with your life. Now, of course, we don't see that happening. We see much more often people being damaged by the drugs than having to go in a loop-de-loop -loop back and forth in and out of the hospital, on and off of all different drugs, and often the whole idea of eradicating the problem and going on with one's life doesn't happen anyways. So I think that the um, promise we have with psychiatry is that people can see more clearly what's going on than Western medicine. Western medicine for physical illnesses is very well respected by most people, even though we can see that there are issues with it. Most of us still see it as our savior, like our back falling, um, what, what we'll turn to if we really have an emergency or if we're sick, and it will give us what we need and it will help us to, again, move on with our lives and not be deterred by any kind of negative experience, any kind of pain, any kind of um, detour that would take us off of the path that we know very well we should be on. Now, once we go onto a spiritual path or a path where our life has a purpose, we start to realize that we don't always know what path we need to be on and sometimes we need to take these messages, these illnesses, these traumatic experiences, these sadnesses, these heartbreaks, these extreme excitements, we need to take those and actually um, respond to them rather than trying to eradicate them. So the promise psychiatry offers us is to, by being so very extreme in medicalizing every possible human experience, it can show people um, what we're doing, not only with our emotions, but also with our physical health. Because doing this with our emotions or with our physical pain leads to the same result. It leads to not allowing ourselves to evolve, not allowing ourselves to take the messages we're getting from our bodies and our emotions and our lives and explore them more deeply. So what I look forward to is rather than a medical system where we go to a doctor, 
they ask us a few questions about our symptoms, so they prescribe us a pill, is a situation where we explore much more deeply with creativity and community and um, elders and mentors what might be going on. Because when we have any of these symptoms, there's something going on, there's something in our beings and our experiences that's asking us to evolve, that's asking us to take another opportunity in life to um, speak our truth, to share our art, to offer our gifts to the world. And it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop when we take a pill. It's not going to stop when someone diagnoses us and tells us we need surgery or another procedure. I'm not saying we should never do these things, but they're not going to be the answer that actually um, resolves the issue. Because if you have a big issue in your life, it's never about just eradicating it so you can move on. It's never just about that. There's always something more happening. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to hear more. And you can read my blog at HayaGrossberg.com or ResistingPsychiatry.com. I look forward to hearing your thoughts.